Hi, this is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to do a quick presentation of EZH. EZH is the Easy HMC command line interface. It is a script designed to make day-to-day -day tasks on the HMC command line much easier and faster. It is available for download from ezh.sourceforge.net. <clears throat> Once you have it downloaded, installing EZH is very simple. Just copy a single file over your HMC using SCP. Alright, now that I have that copied over, I'm going to go ahead and log into the HMC using SSH. Okay. Each time um, you log into the HMC, if you want to use EZH, you need to run source EZH. And what this will do is it will load the EZH script into the HMC environment. So again, each time you log in, you'll need to run this command if you want to use EZH. All right, there's three main groups of um, commands from EZH. There's LPAR related commands, frame related commands, and then miscellaneous commands. All of the LPAR related commands start with the word LPAR. So if you type LPAR and then push tab a couple times, it'll list out all the LPAR related commands. If you type frame and press tab a couple times, it'll list out all the frame related commands. All right, so let's start with the LPAR LS command. What this will do is it will show a list of all the managed systems and then the LPARs that are running on those um, and, then, and then their status. So in this example I only have one managed system that has five LPARs. Um, if, if I had multiple managed systems um, it would show up you know, in this list as well down here. The managed systems are on this column and then the LPARs are indented um, so you can tell the difference between them. And then this is the status of all the, um, you know, P520 is operating, and then the, each, the status of each LPAR. All right, let's go ahead and um, go over a couple of the commands um, for LPAR-related things. So if I want to shut down an LPAR, I can do an LPAR shutdown. And if I hit tab, you can see there's two options. I can do an LPAR shutdown hard or LPAR shutdown OS. Let's go ahead and do an LPAR shutdown hard. This will do a quick and dirty shutdown. Um, if you do an LPAR shutdown OS, that'll be a clean operating system level shutdown of the LPAR. So let's do an LPAR shutdown hard on AIX2. Now each time you use a EZH command, it'll, um, it'll show the native HMC command that it's, that it's actually running to do the work. So there's the native HMC command that was run to shut down that LPAR. All right, let's go do an LPAR LOS. And you can see that LPAR is now not activated. If we want to power it back on, we can do an LPAR, power on, and then the name of the LPAR, and that will power it on. There's also a LPAR power on SMS, and that would boot the LPAR into SMS mode. Let's go to an LPAR power on, the name of the LPAR. Again, it shows the HMC native command being run, and that LPAR is now powered on. Let's do an LPAR console and that will open a console to that LPAR. And as you can see, the console is open, AIX is booting, I'm going to close out of that console. Alright, some other commands you can run, you can do an LPAR info, name of the LPAR, this will show you the frame it's on, the state, the operating system level, profile properties, and LPAR properties, all from one command. You can do an LPAR LS LED, this will show you the attention LED state of that LPAR. This one's currently off. If it had an attention LED that was on, you can do an LPAR clear LED, name of the LPAR, and that will clear out that LED. You can also do an LPAR ref code, and that'll show you the reference code um, of that LPAR. This is the code that, that shows as, L, as AIX is booting up or if the system crashes. In this example, there's not currently one on this LPAR, so it doesn't show it. But that can be useful if you have a, a crashed LPAR to, to, to look at that reference code. Um, another unique command for EZH is LPAR clone. You get the name of the LPAR. This will show you the command you would need to run to recreate this LPAR. This can be useful if you're doing things like um, if you need to create this LPAR on a different managed system, or if you've created this LPAR and you'd like to create LPAR similar to it, you can, you know, you can use this to build your makesys config command line quickly and easily. 
things you want to change if you're trying to clone to, to make duplicate systems, you need to change like the profile name, the name of the LPAR, the LPAR ID, and then you need to pay attention to all the virtual slots to make sure those are set up correctly. But this can be a quick quick way to duplicate and clone LPARs. All right, there's also um, the command LPAR save config. What, you, what this will do is it will take the running configuration of AIX2, this LPAR, and it will save it to the profile. So for example, if you've DL parted in some CPU, memory, adapters, any kind of resources to this system in the running configuration using DL par, and you'd like to save that to the, to the profile, you just run LPAR save config, name of the LPAR, and it will go ahead and save that to the profile. And that's done. <coughs> All right. Let's move on. Um, let's look at one other command. So there's also the um, the frame level commands. Um, but, but before I get there, let me show you one other LPAR command. There's also the LPAR VIO run command. If you type this, type the name of the VIO server, then type a VIO level command. This will run this command on this VIO server, and there's the result right there. All right, let's move on to the frame level commands. All these start with the word frame, and again, you can hit tab, and it'll show you the all of the commands there. So if we run frame ls, this will list out all the managed systems on this HMC. Um, you can do a frame power on. Th that would power on the frame. You can do a frame power off. That would power off the frame. You can do a frame ls LED. This will show you the attention LED state. You can do a frame clear LED. That would deactivate the attention LED if it was on. You can do a frame ls events. This will show you any open serviceable events on that frame. Um, you can also do just do an ls events. This will show you all open serviceable events for the HMC. And if you have open events that you've resolved, you can just run close all events and that would close every open serviceable event on the HMC. There's also a command um, for the LED states. If you run ls LED all, this will list out the LED state of every frame and LPAR attached to this HMC. So again, in this example, I just have the one managed system, but if you had more, it would list them all here. So this is a quick way to see um, if you have any attention LEDs on, on any frames or LPARs very quickly. All right, let's move on to some of the miscellaneous commands. Now, some of these are unique to EZH and provide stuff that you can't get through the native HMC command line interface easily. And some of these are just shortcuts to the native HMC commands that make it you know, quicker and easier to run. All right, so if we run the DF command, this will show the disk usage on the HMC. If I run PS, this will show the list of running processes on the HMC, this, that, that's one that's unique to EZH. If I run uptime, this will show the uptime of the HMC. And if I run free, this will show the amount of um, you know used and free memory and swap space on the HMC. So I haven't covered all of the EZH commands, but that's just a quick overview of, of some of them, um, some of the more useful ones. There's, there's a couple I left off. If you want a full list of all the commands, go to the, the EZH website at ezh.sourceforge.net and it lists out all the EZH commands and then what the native um, HMC command is um, as well. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please let me know.